Uh, promoter, a uh, promoter of mine, uh, Will, from White Buffalo, g uh, gave me a call, said he had a, a good opportunity against an ex-UFC fighter and said, you know, you can't really turn those down. You know, honestly, one of the things I, I, I wanted to uh, prove was I was looking at the Ultimate Fighter, because uh, he was on the Ultimate Fighter TV show, and one of the things I saw in there that we, we were both one of the finalists. He got on, I didn't, so kind of makes it a little frustrating. So I, I want to, you know, just mostly beat him to the fact that, you know, once again, I should have been on there. I think at the time I actually had a couple losses. I just lost uh, to a couple great fighters. I lost to uh, Luke Rockhold and I lost to, uh, was it Terry Martin? Uh, so, you know, I can't take anything against Luke Rockhold. I mean, the guy's the man. Uh, still love the way, his, the way he fights. But uh, so I think I lost two in a row, so it made it, you know, kind of knocked me down just a drop. Uh, not in a long time. I, I used to travel Oklahoma, I've traveled to Mexico, Alaska, uh, just little places like that, fought in Reno. But uh, over the last few years, I've kind of taken a, a big step back from it. Uh, family, you know, devoted more of my, life, or my time and life towards that way. Uh, so now I'm just kind of doing a little bit more for fun. Yes, I mean, I was fighting for Strike Force for a while, uh, but it'd be nice now that Strike Force has been bought up by the UFC. Uh, a couple years, you're going to go, hey, I fought for Strike Force, and everyone's going to go, what was that? So I, I want everybody to, I want to be able to say, hey, yes, I was in the UFC. So I need at least one fight there. Doesn't bother me. I, I actually enjoy it. I mean, I'm the underdog. I like being the underdog. I got nothing to lose. I'm just going to have fun either way. Uh, I watched a video on him. I mean, he's, he's got some good punches, some good kicks, some decent stand-up. Uh, I'm expecting to probably get hit and hit hard, uh, but uh, I'll keep coming at him. We're going to have a good time. Uh, I started fighting uh, when I was in college. I was a wrestler in college, and uh, honestly, I'd, I was the youngest of four boys, so I got beat up my whole life. Didn't know that I could even win a fight, really, until I got into college. And then, uh, well, wrestlers are a little bit rowdy, and you get a couple of street fights here and there with a couple of the team. And, and then uh, some of my buddies were fighting. They go, hey, you know, we're going to go down here. And one of the places we fought, we fought in Idaho. And they go, hey, you want to you make 100 bucks tonight? And I go, is it legal? Because <laughs> if it's not legal, I'm not really down. They're like, no, no, it's perfectly legal, man. I know. So I had some shady friends at that time. But uh, they go, yeah, you know, we'll put you in a ring. You, you fight, you, you, you know, give you some travel money if you win, you know, extra travel money if you win, and you make this much money if you lose. I was like, so either way, I'm making a couple bucks. And they go, yep. I go, deal, let's do it. Got in there, I remember my first fight was the scariest damn thing I ever did. I never trained a day in my life, I didn't know what a submission was, but I knew how to wrestle, and I had older brothers so I could throw a punch, and uh, kind of just took off from there, started enjoying it. And then um, I think they gave me my first pro fight against Ed Herman, still didn't know how to didn't know what a submission was, never trained a day in my life. I got armbarred by uh, Ed and went, okay, maybe I should start learning what I'm doing. I hate being the main event. Hate it. I don't care about the pressure or this or that. None of that affects me. I want to get my fight over with and I want to actually go have a beer. That's what it comes down to. I've been cutting weight for too dang long. You know, I just want to eat. I want to have a beer and it's more fun, you know, even if we were the ones fighting. Just to, to step off, you know, we have a beer, we chat about what, you know, what just happened in the fight, what you did good, what I did good. You know, to me, that's my favorite part of the fight. I don't really care about being the main event. I just want to actually get the fight over with. I've always been a big wrestler. Wrestled from elementary school into college. And, the, and one thing I can say is, is the, the more experience or the better fighters and the better wrestlers always flock together. And... It's one of those things, if, if we bleed together, it doesn't matter if you're the one that made me bleed, but that, that warrior spirit, that battle between the two, there's nothing like it. I mean, I've, you know, back in my, my younger, rowdier days, uh, I remember one, there was one down in Portland where I fought the guy in the ring, we came out of the ring, and some guy started, you know, getting in our face, and we fought together against him. You know, I mean, bad day for that guy. You know, bad things to say probably on camera too, but I'm just... I, I'm completely honest, you know, the, the camaraderie that when you step out of the ring is like no other. Nope, uh, I, I, don't change, I don't change my fight plan. Uh, the way I look at it is 
I got here doing you know one or two things right. If I change my my uh, my fighting style or if I change the way I do things, that's what's going to throw me off. That's what's going to mess me up. So I don't like to change anything. I do watch a little film, but I don't watch too much because I don't want to get my head wrapped around what he does. I'm going to do what I'm going to do. I hope it's just me. I uh, hope you guys enjoy my fighting style. Uh, like I said, I'm not really a cocky person. I, I, I'm, I'm a very aggressive person when it comes to the ring, but out of the ring, I'm a happy guy. So I'm hoping that part right there will gain me a fan or two. Uh, if nothing else, somebody to have a beer with me afterwards because I'm going to be all alone. Uh, but I mean, no, honestly, just no joking aside, I, I'm just there to have a good time. Talk about your